Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? Happy Friday. Good, happy Friday. Um, when, where are you right now? I'm in LA. How's LA? It's good. It's like, you know, you never know what you're going to get, actually. I'm used <laughs> to the weather being so, like, one way, but it's been like, some days it's, it's hot, some days it's bad. <laughs> Um, well, thank you for uh, releasing so much music that we have, uh, that we've played. I mean, we've been uh, with you since the beginning, so we, we are big fans. And uh, uh, right now we're playing Telepatia. And uh, I, I wanted to, um, I, I wanted to know, it's like an interesting concept to me, the like, kind of, uh, like, the the telepathy uh, aspect of it and i was wondering like what was going on at the time that like sparked that that idea for you um <clears throat> i had actually always i love just being able to i guess uh put spotlight on like on things that are kind of otherworldly and mm -hmm. something that i always been uh, really fascinated in is like being able to connect with other people without having to actually like verbally say anything. Um, so people just kind of being on your same frequency or maybe like you think about someone and they start calling you or things like that where it's like you can't, things you can't really expa explain um, that might be reoccurring with a person. And, um, and so I always wanted to like talk about that connection and um I actually had a song that I was gonna that it was called telepathy that I was that that was like an old song that didn't end up working and I was like well I still want to make a song about this this concept and so that was kind of what inspired me that day because I was kind of going through that as well of, of talking to someone that I wasn't necessarily living in the same city as and, and uh I'm very familiar with all of with all of that. So uh so yeah, it kind of just came came naturally and happened really quickly in the studio that day. That's cool. Um if you if you like could have the power of telepathy to talk to with like one person, who would that be in your life? Um it would it would definitely be with only one person is so hard. But, uh, but for sure, my significant other. Yeah. <laughs> um, but if I could contact people who were not uh, no longer living, I would do that. Who would you do for that? Uh, oh my gosh, so many people. Um, I think Michael Jackson for sure. I want to talk to. Um, Man, it's just so many people that's not with us that I don't want to talk to. Yeah. Them. Well, like, you know, talking about Michael Jackson and people that, you know, you would want to grab some, like, inspiration or talk to. I think, like, one of the biggest draws that we've always had for your music is that it is, you know, there's so many so many genres and seemingly, like, so much inspiration from so many different kinds of things. And uh, I was wondering, like, who is the biggest, who is your biggest musical influence growing up? You know, who kind of, like guided you into or through that kind of music um i wouldn't say that i really had any like what like like person that i was like i want to make music like this person i never had that um i had inspirations um visually aesthetically um in regards to like pop culture uh and performance wise i always loved selena because she was someone who was multicultural as well, that like always still represented for the Latin culture, but was from America as well. I was like Shakira because I'm Colombian and I always loved the way she performed, the way she moved. Um, and uh, a lot of other just strong women, Grace Jones, Eartha Kitt, um, yeah. Maria Cruz, just, just strong women who were very unapologetically themselves. Um, always inspired me um, but in regards to music I would say that uh, I was just such a I'm just such a big music lover and such a dork when it comes to uh, 
I guess having I always wanted I always had as many things in my iPod as I possibly could. Yeah. Um, all types of different songs and genres and languages from all over the place. So I think I was just inspired by in, within every genre. There's probably someone who inspired me for sure. Well, uh, we are. So we've been playing, you know, your music in heavy rotation for all the, you know, almost everything that you've released. And I would love to, I love having like playing, you know, we'll play a song from yours. And then I would love to, you know, like in this interview to kind of like have you be the DJ for the next song. So like you are a DJ on our radio station right now, and you can pick any song in the world to play next. Uh, what song, what song should we play next? After what song? Uh, after, uh, after one of your songs, after, uh, let's say, Telpatia. After Telepatia, uh, maybe, maybe some, I think Janet, ja you can never go wrong with Janet Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> What do you like about Janet? I love Janet. Um, I love her tone. I love her melodies. Um, one of my favorite songs in the world is China, China Love. Um, I think if you like Janet Jackson, you would also love Kalayla. She's from Virginia as well. She's, um, you know Kalayla? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, my favorite song by her is SOS. Um, she has a lot of melodies though, right? Uh, I would love to play SOS. What do you like about that song? I love SOS. SOS is just, I just really feel that song when I hear it. Like, I love singing along to that song. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a 10 out of 10. Right on. Um, uh, well, to, you know, to kind of end this, I was, you know, you've had such a, you've had such a, uh, a wonderful career so far and you've done so many things what's something uh, in your career that you haven't done that you want to do or aspire to do something I haven't done um I would love to one day do an arena tour um on my own that would be amazing uh, I also Something else I want to do. I want to get a Latin Grammy. Um, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's so much that I want to do. I can't write the decision or anything, but that's two things, the first thing that comes to my mind for sure. Yeah. Um, why is the Latin Grammy important to you? <clears throat> Uh, the Latin Grammy is important to me because um, I think it's always been really important to me to be kind of like accepted by my people. And uh, that was why making my album in Spanish was part, part, part of the reason why it was such a big thing for me was also like being able to represent and being able to contribute something. Um, <clears throat> Uh, to my people so I think it would be a really beautiful full circle moment for me yeah for sure um well that's it so uh thank you thank you for talking and thank you for for making music that has been inspiring us for years and that we love to play so thank you so much thank you guys for supporting for so long too I really appreciate that oh of course thank you all right god bless happy weekend you too bye